Millworms. What are they? Millworms are not actually worms at all. Millworms are the larva of the darkling beetle, which means they're insects. The darkling beetle goes through four stages to complete metamorphosis. The egg, the larva, the pupa, and the adult. Darkling beetles can lay up to 500 eggs at a time, and they hatch after about 19 days. Millworms have exoskeletons which are inflexible and don't stretch like skin. Therefore, they must shed as they grow. This shedding is called molting, and it's required as millworms grow through their larva stage. Because it mostly feeds on grains, darkling beetles can be a big problem in granaries, and are often regarded as pests. But more frequently, millworms serve as food for many types of animals, including humans. They are high in protein and have less environmental impact than other sources of protein. Millworms are often used as food for wild birds, chickens, reptiles, and other small insect-eating animals. It's important when you buy millworms to be aware of where they're sourced and how safe they are for consumption. Not all millworm sources have sanitary conditions. The source itself matters less than the facility's food safety standards. Each lot of millworms should be tested for moisture levels, metals, and microbials above all. Facilities should use metal detectors to make sure your millworms are safe. And do microbial testing to make sure your animals aren't going to be harmed. Of microbial testing, ideally you'll see aerobic plate counts of salmonella, E. coli, listeria, aflatoxins, and mold counts. You'll need to buy some live millworms and give them a place that is dark, warm, about 80 degrees, and dry. Many different types of food can be used. A common and expensive one is wheat bran. Some people use a three-tiered container system, while others manage a mini millworm farm using just one level. Surprisingly, millworms have been discovered to be able to degrade small amounts of plastic. Research at Stanford University found that millworms can live on styrofoam alone, and the millworms involved in the experiment were just as healthy as those on a grain-based diet. This could mean big things for the global pollution problem. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on your pets.